All right, so we talk about how important sleep is for recovery. But what we don't talk about specifically is how. One of the biggest factors involved is growth hormone, aka human growth hormone, aka HGH, aka somatotropin. Let's talk about it. Growth hormone is a 191 amino acid polypeptide. Uh, so yes, it's made out of protein and it is secreted from the anterior pituitary gland during strenuous exercise, but mostly while we're sleeping. It, along with insulin and various other growth factors like IGF-1 and the multiple MGFs, among others, both directly and indirectly affect tissue repair. The thing about growth hormone is it's very hard to kind of get a bead on exactly how much you have because it's pulsatile. That being said, because the lion's share of growth hormone comes after those first few hours of deep sleep, sleep is absolutely essential for maximum growth hormone secretion and utilization. This conversation, of course, is in the context of adults and fitness related things uh, due to the nature of this channel, but it goes without saying that growth hormone is also responsible for the rapid expansion of tissues uh, in infants and young people as well too little growth hormone and you can get dwarfism and some other conditions too much growth hormone and you can get conditions like uh, acromegaly uh, where you have you know oversized craniums and or oversized you know hands feet or even internal organs now the thing about growth hormone is growth hormone has some direct effects and some indirect effects uh, but it's not magic like a lot of people think that it is. I've heard it explained before as kind of like site work on a construction site. Like it prepares the tissues to be more amenable to growth uh, from other growth factors like IGF-1. So using the construction analogy, it doesn't, you know, pour concrete or run pipe or anything like that but like it sets up the signage and uh, the fencing and and things of that nature and like it gets the site ready so that when the construction actually starts it can go smoothly without a hitch in addition to the obvious uh, promoting growth and repair which are you know things that we want uh, in terms of our health and physical fitness but it's a big part of why if you're trying to get and or stay lean, you have to sleep. There's actually been numerous studies that demonstrate that sleep deprivation, even by a couple of hours, so like, you know, reducing the subjects from eight and a half to five and a half hours of sleep, significantly impaired their ability to lose fat over a 14 day period of time. The longer you can stay in a, a deep sleep state, uh, stage three or slow wave sleep, the longer you can kind of extend this growth hormone secretion and kind of optimize the fat burning effects, if you will, that you can get from growth hormone. In addition to, of course, all the other repairs and growth that it's affecting. Something else that's interesting about growth hormone, and I haven't really talked about it on this channel yet, but growth hormone seems to be correlated with estradiol, uh, estrogen levels. And estrogen, well estradiol specifically in the context of fitness and athletics, kind of like cortisol and lactate, uh, those three things generally get a bad rap when in fact they are extremely beneficial things that you generally want a lot of in the case of estrogen and i really need to make a separate video on this but in the case of estrogen you pretty much want as much of it as you can have before you hit the peak of that bell curve and you start having kind of detrimental effects but all that to say there seems to be some very strong correlation between uh, 
high levels of estrogen and high levels of growth hormone. And that stands to reason because estrogen has, you know, neuroprotective, cardioprotective effects, uh, is responsible for bone health, uh, and a bunch of other things that are extremely beneficial in the body. It's another example of how our thinking of just pulling one lever and it's not affecting anything else because that's what the medication does is probably not ever going to be the case and generally speaking if you move one thing five other things also move at least marginally in the background but back to growth hormone and sleep like i mentioned in a previous video Sleep is absolutely critical to recovery, and recovery is absolutely critical to the success of any training and nutrition plan, whether you're just doing so for your overall health, or if you have some sort of performance-driven uh, fitness goal. And that's in any facet, whether we're talking about strength, speed, skill, body composition, it all requires training, nutrition, and recovery, and the recovery portion requires sleep. A large part of that because growth hormone is such an integral part of the process. So if you wanna boost your growth hormone to get better recovery, the answer is simple, folks. Sleep hygiene. Consistency is a superpower. Stay in the fight.